god. Oh, that was her for a second. I probably got so excited for it. Oh. Okay, we're okay. Tracks, 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 track, track, tracks. Where are you? <gasps> oh my god. No way. Bro. This is pretty sweet, I have to say. I mean, I, I've never wandered through a desert at nighttime, but uh, these cactus look awful po pokey. <laughs> I hope to not hit any of those. We are in Mexico, everyone, Rancho del Arroyo um, down here, and uh, we're in the desert at the moment. We're out of the scrubs, we're out of the hills. You can see there's uh, lights off in the distance between, uh, between us and the, that mountain over there. But uh, yeah, right now, we're on the search of a nice Mexican bobcat, and I thought of all the animals that we probably could go after at nighttime, I don't, I can't think of anything better than, uh, than a good predator like the bobcat to go after. So that's what we're gonna do. And we have our night vision stuff. I got the night vision of binoculars, and I got a night vision scope here. Hopefully, this is all we need, everyone. But uh, let's get after a nice sized bobcat, shall we? It's kind of interesting as we were like running around here, like part of me like is like, man, there's something beautiful about being in a desert at nighttime. And the other part of me is like, I feel like the ground is going to start shaking and some like alien worm is going to come up and try to eat me. If anyone gets that reference, but uh, haven't heard any bobcats yet. It's crazy during the day. You can hear bobcats everywhere. They make the strangest noises. You'd swear it would be a javelina. Then it ends up being a bobcat, but hey, there we go. Already got a track. That's right. We can't uh need to have our lights on to be able to see. I forgot about that. <laughs> you think there's a you think there's a bobcat or something over here? What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dead jackrabbits over here. Jeez wheezes. We just need to get up on top of that hill. I think that'll just help out a lot of our issues. <laughs> we'll be able to look down on everything in the valley. Oh, look at that, 125 yards out too. There we go, first cat down, let's go. We're just, uh, I think, uh, especially now that they're, now that we shot, they might be running around uh, var varmints, you know. Uh, guy, ooh, right out there. Another one at 300 now. Gosh dang. I thought that first one was gonna do, I tried to aim right above the shoulder. At least with that first shot. The, the other two are a little meh. She's running away over there now. Oh, we got, we got her. Ooh, thank goodness for flashlights, eh? There we go. There's our bobcat. That's the way I'm used to bobcats looking. It says it's brown, but this is kind of the way they always look in Kansas anyway. Uh, top notch. Big ol' eyes. I think the eyes might be a little too big, maybe. But otherwise, that is a good looking model. I love seeing the muscle and ligaments and stuff like that you see it's in its legs and in its paws it's just a good looking model a bunch of javelina over here including one decent size one level four turn this into a javelina hunting video all right hey we actually found the blood <laughs> i was like oh bobcat tracks that's what we're looking for and then i saw the blood so we're good we're on the right trail now Let's see how far she got. I'm eager to see how far the shot was. I would assume 380 maybe? We'll have to see. It's one of those things where, you know, thinking about things that probably not a lot of people would use. A more long distance uh, night vision scope and uh, a modern rifle. If there's one thing I learned from Hunting Simulator 2, you know, I was really against 
uh, AR, you know, platform rifles. But having that 223 or, or make it a 556, I don't care. And, uh, and only available for shooting, you know, classes two through, I don't know, three, you know, two and three or something like that. And make it too small for a whitetail. Um, and it, even if you did use it for a whitetail, maybe make it, you know, so that it, it doesn't do a lot of damage in comparison to, you know, a 243 or a 30-06, which is probably realistic. I think, um, I honestly don't see the problem with it, uh, now, because in Hunting Simulator 2, we had, we had the AR, we would shoot something, it would die, and then we'd have, you know, 29 rounds left in our magazine. And it was like, could have done this with a bolt action rifle. I mean, this is easy. <laughs> and I'll tell you, if you, uh, if you miss it and it's running, uh, you know, you have enough rounds to hit it, but, uh, eventually it's just going to go over a hill and, uh, and you're still going to have 15 rounds left in your magazine and, uh, you're not going to know what to do with the rest of it anyway. So yes, you shot more rounds than you would with a bolt action rifle essentially but uh it didn't help you most of the time <laughs> most of the time you're thinking oh, i got plenty of rounds and so you just keep shooting thinking that you'll eventually hit it and you usually don't so right on so we hit it actually twice evidently flesh and flesh pelvis top notch did not like that second one she was uh she's pretty angry about it so we've had tan brown i've had common which is more like a white color um, pretty interesting. This is this is pretty similar to Kansas. I guess that brown one reminded me as well, but this one tan It's kind of what the color they are. So yeah, pretty interesting Top notch. Well, that's our second bobcat. I there's one making noise up here Maybe we need to just call her in these uh, these big floodplains I assume is what they kind of are like uh, during a monsoon or something like that and a bunch of water just starts pushing all this stuff out you can see on the map where this must be a river during a certain time of the year. Just fill up with water, but uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like a highway. I mean, you can really just kind of, you see animals along it. They're a nice open shot. It's pretty cool. Here's our third bobcat, though. I have an idea of where a special bobcat might be, though. And we might go run over there to see if we can find it. But it might not pan out. We'll just have to see. There we go. Third bobcat! All right, all right, all right, all right. We can continue hunting in the desert here, or we can go to where I think there might be a special one. We'll just need to uh, need to head up in the hills, so maybe we'll do that too. I'm gonna look over this hill, and if we don't see anything, we'll call it. We'll head off to the hills. All right, so we're at the big house right now, but uh, we're actually gonna run out, and we're gonna head kind of northeast, which is... It's good luck that we do not have a wind going that direction, so. <laughs> We're already off to a great start. So, that Kyle wouldn't have uh, thrown me off course. We are going to head towards these hills over here. That is the last place I saw this specific bobcat, so. We'll see what we can find, I guess. If we can find a need zone of some sort, there might be a decent chance that She's over there. I think it's a girl. Well, that was definitely a bobcat sound. We just didn't get any, uh, any signal of where it came from. Here's our coyote, though. I think this is my first coyote I've shot here. It looks super skinny. I think uh, hunting at night is definitely one of those underrated things. I know a lot of people don't like to do it. Um, but it's honestly pretty fun and I know that uh, in multiplayer, you know when you're uh, hopping around to different places and then you find You find a multiplayer map that's uh at nighttime and you think oh god I don't want to hunt at nighttime, but at the same time no one does and so you have a multiplayer map that probably no one is hunting on because it's nighttime and if you're willing to, to put up with it go search your favorite spots at nighttime you might find some awesome stuff there that no one else is uh you know putting up with the nighttime to go find so 
you know, I, I'll take that opportunity. I'll, I'll, I'll go through with it. You know, it's just, just means that there may, might be some diamonds out there that no one else is taking the time to find. So during a live stream, though, I usually try to avoid it, though, because <laughs> no one wants to stare at a black screen while I, uh, while I talk about stuff and and flash green light in their face a bazillion times. All right, so. Last time I was over here, I saw an orange bobcat running through these bushes over here and off into the hills, and I never saw it again. Until today, that's all gonna change. We are gonna find this mad lad, wherever she is. Out here, I remember being here in the intro video. It's a nice little uh, point to actually see pretty much everything in this valley. All right, cool. During night, it's a little bit different though, especially with that moon, uh, the, the light from the moon shining down, everything is kind of like foggy and hard to see. Not helping at all. Still haven't seen any uh, scat of any sort, so I don't know how far ahead it is or how long ago like these tracks were made. I'm looking up ahead of us just in case it's just sitting there or something. Shut up, coyote! Good golly! Talk about something never being that annoying until you're like focused in on one specific animal you're looking for. And then they just, they just want all the attention in the world. Same thing with dogs too. I, that must be it. It's just a dog thing. Coyotes and dogs. Oh my god. I thought that was her for a second. I probably got so excited for... Ugh. Okay. We're okay. Tracks, 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 track, track, tracks. Where are ya? <gasps> oh my god. No way. Bro. That's so far away! Okay. We're back on trail. We're back on the trail. It's times like these that you wish you had a dog that was able to track not responding to the calls which is kind of annoying hope she's paying attention now what the heck was that first shot did it go through her legs or something What a strange animal. <laughs> God, how many times did we call her? She did not want to move at all. It's something to, to remember, I suppose, when you're chasing after your bobcat. Yeah, this is this has got to be just a common. I don't know how that first shot. Look at that. What in the freaking world, man? Bunch of Bologna. How did that not hit anything? It went through the lungs, the heart, into almost the, the stomach or the liver or whatever that is, and then said that it hit the back leg? What can you do? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. But I tell you what, um, this was pretty fun. I enjoyed chasing after the bobcat, the coyote, uh, doing some night hunting with the, uh, the night vision stuff. It's, it's something that people either enjoy using and they want more of delving into like, uh, I don't know, thermal scopes and that sort of thing. And, and, you know, five, five, six ARs and all that sort of stuff, you know, I know there's some people that really want it and then other people who are like I have no interest in that just hunt during the day like everyone else so just let me do that sort of thing and that's that's totally fine as well comment down below what type of person you are I'm, I'm eager to see do you want more night vision night hunting for varmints and that sort of thing or do you just want to stick to daytime hunting because that's what you do in real life and you just want to keep on doing it I'm eager to hear but uh yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit the like button if you're excited about the bobcat and the uh the coyote what do you think of the model what do you think of the colors i wish we could have found that darn orange one there's a cool orange one that actually was in the uh the trailer i want to say and it was super cool and i actually found one out here and i was hoping that if we went back we would find it again but uh hey that is all right 
one bobcat is uh good enough i guess as the other but it's not it's not the same but anyway if you want to come to our live streams monday wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central hope to see you there we do some hunting we do some fishing depending upon the day join our discord to learn more and uh yeah look forward to more videos everyone i got like nine videos planned and uh excited to get into it and do more of this sort of stuff so if you're looking forward to more videos concerning the mexico map make sure you uh subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be more coming out is there a release date no there isn't a release date yet but uh we're going to continue playing it and uh, showing everything off in the beta. So, uh, yeah, make sure that everything is going to be perfect by the time you guys get it. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it, everyone. Take care. And as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family. Game on.